Yo, what is up, guys? We are back with another episode of Legacy Loading. This is episode seven, seven right? Episode seven. Yep. And we got two special guests here. We got Russ Swole and the man Duhan. What's happening? What's good? What's it always feels weird as fuck to hear my, like, to hear <laughs> Russ Swole. Like, that's such an odd. How long has it been Russ Swole for you for? It's funny because I actually, I came up, well, not me, but someone like in my uh, criminal justice class came up with that name. Cause I was like, I was adamant that I wanted a nickname. This is like, <laughs> this is like back in like senior year of high school. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want to be, cause I was known as Russ Buss. You know what I'm saying? Cause I played football, you know? Yeah. yeah, Like, like Jerome Bettis. That's pretty, yeah. That's pretty, yeah. And I was like, man, fuck. Like I need something different, man. Cause I was trying to change my Twitter handle. And then my friend was like, uh, what do you think about Russ? And then like swole cause you're swole. So like, why not Russ swole? Uh-huh. I was like. That was it. Man, that shit kind of hit. So I changed my Twitter <laughs> handle to that, that. Yeah. That, that day. Shout out that yeah, guy. that day. That day he was like, right. Yeah. I was like, fuck it. Let's roll. Let's run with that. Wow. Yeah. Russ Swole. Yeah. There it is. That, yeah. Shout out that guy. Do you remember? Shout out. Cool yeah. His name is Matt. He actually does videography too. Really? Yeah. He does pretty good work. Shout, Shout out, Matt. Shout oh, out. shit. Yeah. Come yeah. to check. Matt. <laughs> Cheers. Duan. Let's introduce you, bro. Mr. Run that. Duan no one. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. What's up, guys? This is a pleasure. It's an absolute honor to have you two on here. Yeah. Two guys that I look up to. And uh, oh, another thanks, man. reason I came out here. Definitely Appreciate you, man. too. Appreciate it was funny the first up. the first time you came out here. Yeah, remember that? I had the yellow hoodie on. The fucking yeah, <laughs> no, I, I definitely remember that. Wasn't that like, wasn't that the first gym that you like visit whenever you yeah. were in yeah. Texas? Yeah, and that's, I met Aaron that day too. That mm-hmm. was such a crazy day because he's oh, like, shit. and then he's like, wait, you don't, you just shout my roommates, Harry and Dorian. And I was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I live with them. And I was like, oh shit. And then. That was that. Now we're here. It's, it's funny because literally the week before, I think, probably like the week before, like just like recently, you had shot for David Lane, and yeah. I remember um, he had came I was coming to me. Out. I was coming yeah, out, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember I saw that, and then I was like, bro, like that's fucking dope ass mm-hmm. lighting. I want to try and recreate that. And then we yeah. tried, but we never could. Damn, really? <laughs> Damn bro. We never so, could because, yeah, like, we were it? trying to do it with like the uh, where like the bars are and corrupted, yeah, yeah. but like it was just a weird angle. And I was oh, like, "Oh, are you are you talking about that one picture I showed yeah. you?" Oh, yeah. And he came up to me. He's like, "Bro, like, you think we can like recreate this?" I was like, <laughs> "That's and crazy." Answers, no. and That's is no. No. I was <laughs> like, "I mean, like at night with like your own light, sure, but mm-hmm. like you know, like we don't we didn't have like that lighting setup." So I, I did my best, but yeah. Damn. No. So you guys, you guys came across my shit. Just like I did, I did yeah. because I follow like <clears throat> photographers. So so like easily like well, no yeah. matter what like photographers just pop up on my shit yeah i think i was i think i was in your dms a bunch of times like before probably just saying just showing love Is like it? and then uh i guess that caught your eye and that's what maybe, and maybe you're like yeah. I'll, I'll give him the time of day now no <laughs> yeah maybe maybe, maybe. maybe he did catch my probably coming on a good day yeah. yeah all right well here we are and uh so let's start from the very beginning well, would you want to introduce yeah. what like what y'all do oh too? yeah let's like, do that yeah yeah people were like who the fuck <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is a russell y'all know what's good I yeah know, like, let's go. i mean just to keep it simple i mean i basically do just like fitness social media so i mean like i work out <laughs> i'm a power lifter for um, years yeah uh world champion power lifter um national Two champion time. power lifter Four times, <laughs> but we five <laughs> social media, fitness, and all that shit. So, and then oh, yeah. I basically handle all his socials, like media wise. So, yeah. videos, pictures, anything you see from him, it's mostly me. Ninety nine point seven five. Ninety nine percent. Yeah. When did, yeah. Y'all, when did y'all link? Uh so funny story with that. Not even funny. It's just um, it was like perfect timing because I had just graduated high school and I had just moved out and I was working full time as a forklift operator. And I was doing a Sheesh. photography and videography on the side. So I think this was like around 20, 2018, like summer of 2018. I had just graduated, just moved out. And so I was trying to build my portfolio and I was just DMing um, people in Houston, just like anyone. I was DMing like mm-hmm. everyone. I, I DM like Christian, but funny, like everyone. I DM Russell. And it's funny because he was just about to launch GBT. So I think you had just done a uh, promo with Kelvin yeah. for that first launch. You needed someone to do your pictures. Yeah. And then I sent you like a DM, like probably like a month before you actually saw it. And mm-hmm. then you were like, oh shit, like actually, like, yeah, like I need someone. Like, are you down to like come and just shoot pictures? And I was just like, oh yeah, shit, dope. And then so I went, shot pictures. It's funny because if you go back to like one of his old YouTube videos, you can see me like in the background just like shooting pictures and all that. But like, <laughs> I had, bro, my style, just like my hairstyle back then was just horrible. <laughs> so I was shooting pictures and then. Um, yeah, just honestly, I was doing work for free at that point. And, um, yeah, yeah. I didn't even charge him. I just like, okay, I'll pull up and shoot pictures. I wasn't thinking about like, 
you know, anything monetary. Mm -hmm. And then we finished, we wrap up. And then, um, yeah, he uh, he was like, oh, like, what's your Venmo? I think it was like PayPal at the time. I was like, oh, like, don't worry about it. He was like, no, like, what is it? And I was like, like, nah, like, don't worry about it. <laughs> but like, he like got it somehow. And then he just sent me like um, a day rate for like that day. And I was just yeah. like, oh, shit. Yeah. And then he didn't hit me up for like six months later. <laughs> <laughs> for real? For real? Yeah, no. Well, yeah. He didn't hit me up to like, no, he just, uh, I think he was in prep. And so Ron Ashland was like um, priority at that point. And he didn't do a launch till like January or like February that year. So that's whenever he hit me back up. And then we started doing more video work, more photos. And then six months turned into like three months, three months turned into like one month, one month turned into like a week. And then consistently I quit my job. It's funny because I think it was like uh, it was like summer and then Hanman had just moved in. I had just met Hanman and I quit my job because Hanman was like, honestly, bro, like driving back and forth, like, fuck that. Like, you can just stay with me because my lease was about to uh, finish. Oh, Hanman was living here at that time. Right? Yeah, he was living yeah. here. So my lease was about to finish. I was like, bro, like I got to find a place like in Baytown, whatever. I lived in Baytown, by the way. Uh, it's like an hour away from Houston. So I was driving like an hour back and forth uh, shooting. That's insane. Yeah. And then Hamid just threw me the lob, like, oh, like, if you want, like, you can just, like, chill with me for, like, a little bit until, like, you get set, like, driving back and forth, like, there's no point. So, like, I did, I was trying to maintain both. I was trying mm -hmm. to, like, live with him, drive back and forth to, like, work, and then, like, I'll be right there to, like, film. I did that for, like, two days, and then I just, I just quit. Damn. And then the next day, the day that I quit, I hit him because I wasn't supposed to film. So I hit him. I was like, "Hey, can we film? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> are you uh, you need you need someone to film?" He's like, "Oh yeah, dude. Like, yeah, aren't you working?" I'm like, "Nah, like I had the day off." <laughs> and then so I pulled up, we filmed, and then at the end of the the session, his session, I was like, "Honestly, bro, like, if you need me, like, whenever you need me, like, I got you. I just quit my job." <laughs> That's insane. And bro. then he looked at me. He's like, "Okay, like, like we finna run this shit." That's how that, that, that originated. Yeah. He, no, he literally said like, "Okay, like, bet, like, we'll run this shit," and then like that was that That's was it. Dope. Yeah. Because yeah, for me, <clears throat> for me, like, I was doing everything by myself, mm -hmm. like yeah. filming, editing, mm -hmm. all that, really uh, by myself. I'd have like editors come down here and there to like kind of take care of my content, and I was for me, it was more so just like fuck, like bringing someone on for the first mm -hmm. time, like under me, like full time, like. Yeah. It was super nerve wracking for me and I didn't feel comfortable with that responsibility. So like, I didn't want to tell him to quit his job. <laughs> like I would yeah. never, I would never, um, I would never like encourage that. Yeah. You don't want you know to be responsible mm -hmm. in, like in case it doesn't work out. You don't yeah, want to be, like, exactly. Fun. Because also too, this is a different lifestyle. Like what we all do here is a different lifestyle. It's not like your typical nine to five. Yep. So it looks very different. Not everyone's built for that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So I wanted him to make that decision for himself that he's built for and he's mm -hmm. going to take that leap of faith. So I never went into like force him to just like, fuck that job, bro. Like yeah, yeah. come work for me. Yeah. Um, so he kind of just like, he made the leap of faith on his own. Yeah. And I accepted. I was like, okay, you show me you're serious. All right, cool. Now that you show me you're serious, I'm going to take care of you. Gotcha. Cause like my conversation with him was just more so like, he came to me and goes, he goes, Hey bro, if you ever need me, just let me know. Cause uh, I'm free all the time. Cause my, my biggest thing was like, I think what happened too, like he's, he's pretty competitive mm -hmm. and, uh, I was working like on and off with Hanman just because Hanman was very close and Hanman yeah. could accept more of the the work just because he was super close. Right. He's far away. I might hit him up for something. He's like, oh, I got work tomorrow, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I'll hit Hanman. Yeah. So I think like internally low key, you're just like, and sorry, I was like, that should be me. Yeah. 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 I was like, yeah. I would see shit. I'm like, nah, damn, like I should be there. But like I'm here <laughs> yeah. like working this like job. Yeah. So he saw that and, um, he quit his job and he came to me that one session after the, after work. He's like, if you ever need me, uh, let me know. I quit my job, so I'm free all the time. What year was that? That was like 2018. That was, 2018. yeah, that was 2018. Yeah. So you did your first shoot together and then you waited. Did you know at that first shoot that you're like, man, maybe I could do this? Because you said like six months pass in between. Like, Whenever I did my first shoot with him, that's whenever I was like, oh, like, like, okay, like, like, I'm good. Like, I'm like, damn, like, okay. Like, if Russell, like, likes my shit, like, mm -hmm. I'm like that top tier shit, right? <laughs> and so at that point, it was just like, it was just a matter of, like, in my head, I just uh, made it to where it was just, uh, like, just be consistent. Yeah. Like, you're good. Yeah. Now it's just consistency. Like, yeah. keep up with it. Like, do more. Yeah. Like, now you have the yeah. affirmation that you needed from, like, someone that you look up to. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of, like, just work. And how was that transition of, like, because you used to edit your own videos, right? Yeah. So then he, he kind of had to, like, have your vision now yeah and so did it take time for him to like understand your look and your, your yeah your, your so, workflow and all that i'm sure i'm sure as you know like mm -hmm. you're you're uh 
you're in media and you do stuff like that. So it's just yeah. like everyone likes different mm-hmm. things, right? So I'm very particular with what I like. Um, and it's not that it doesn't look good. It's just I want my you, message a certain you, time. You have away. a vision and now yeah. he took over your, he's, he's taking exactly. over that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like after, a, I think it took like maybe like a couple of months to where maybe I'm, I'm offering feedback like, hey, yeah. I want this color to be this way or like I want the music to be like this because I'm so used mm-hmm. to editing my own stuff. Yeah, I already exactly. know what I want. Um, and then it just got to a point where like, he he doesn't he doesn't like rest on like what he's done. He's always looking to do more, um, and I kind of noticed that. Yeah. And he's like always trying to switch things up, always trying to find like different angles or a different like color or like maybe like a different vibe to set to the videos I was already doing. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean it took it took uh, it wasn't like a, a long tedious process, but after a while, I just kind of learned. I'm like, this motherfucker's good. Like yeah. you, gotta, you, you gotta, know, I trust, trust him. him yeah. yeah, I trust him. So exactly. sometimes like. I mean, it's funny because now I trust him so much to a point. I don't even like watch my videos. <laughs> like I literally just like, I know he did fire shit. Mm-hmm. Like there's, yeah, that's, that's there's, where me and Marco are at right now too. Yeah. Like he doesn't need to watch it. He's just yeah. like, all right, post it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I literally, I, I might yeah. just do the thumbnail and that's really quick just mm-hmm. cause like I, there's a certain type of way I want it. But yeah. once it's out there in the world, I'm like, I mean, I already know he did that shit. So do you think yeah. that it's just like a coincidence that the first person you brought on full time, just like it worked right away? Like. I think what helped was that I was already such an avid fan of his. Like I watched all his shit. Like I was watching, I was watching all the athletes. I was watching like Russell. I was watching Charlie. I was watching Christian. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> the athletes. <laughs> I'm like, damn. But with him, like, yeah, worry, <laughs> like with him, I stuck with him more because like he's a powerlifter, and that's like the avenue like I wanted to get into. Um, and so like the transition of like him like trusting me, I felt like was easier because it's like. I, would, I basically studied him. Yeah. Like, I already knew, mm-hmm. like, his, like, you knew process. His style I knew his style. Yeah. I knew, like, the, like, uh, the blueprint of, like, how mm-hmm. he wanted his, like, video structure. Yeah. And so, it's it's funny because I still kept on, like, asking for feedback. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It got to a point where he was just, like, honestly, man, like, I don't even watch this shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, just, you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy. I, another thing to add to that, too, is, like, I think as someone that, like, I didn't get it from like the mud, but like mm-hmm. I know what hard work looks like. Yeah, yeah. And like when I met him, I was like, oh, this guy's like gonna work hard. Like mm-hmm. once he told me he was driving an hour from Baytown to come film these, film these videos, I was like, oh, okay, so he has the mindset and he has the work ethic to go with it. Mm-hmm. So like when you when you have that in yourself, mm-hmm. you're able to see it in other people. So yeah. I was like, okay, oh, yeah. this guy's gonna go. Like I, we're gonna vibe well because he works hard. So it's, it's not oh, a good yeah. question. And the timing was good because you you said you were just starting GBT at the same time. So was he kind of was yeah. he doing was he shooting your product shots and stuff at that time too? GBT back then. Was GBT like, was merch back then. So yeah. he had just like made, he was, he had just made GBT like consistent as far as like, yeah. instead of dropping every year or like six months, it was like every few months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So back then it was just like, hey, shirts came in, just grab some people from the gym and like just take pictures. Yeah. Like, it was, it was anything like Russell merch at the time. Yeah. It was basically yeah. like yeah. Russell yeah. merch. Yeah. I think yeah. the website was still Russell. Yeah. No, it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was still Russell. Yeah, yeah. were, were you moving product? Like how much? Work yeah. I was doing, I was. Yeah, those, I mean, shit, I was doing great. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, I was doing great. So, like, I would have, I had Russwell.com, and I was literally just, like, pushing GBT out of that, and yeah. then also selling programs. So, yeah, mm-hmm. it's kind of good. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. What made you just, like, what, what was that decision to be made? Like, okay, now I want to, I want to start my own thing and make it more than just merge. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, the natural progression. I feel like yeah. after a while, um, you just wanted to be bigger than you. And mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes you're limiting. Like, my, me, myself, I'm limiting. Like, yeah. there's such a particular audience that I speak to. Um, and I want GBT to kind of like be more broad mm-hmm. yeah. and I don't think it could be like that just being like quote unquote Russ Wool merch. Yeah. So I knew that it was time to take that step and like kind of like expand a little mm-hmm. bit. And at that time, who were your sponsors and how'd you get picked up by them? So at that time it was Alpha Elite, um, BPN and I think Junk headband, uh, Headbands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Alpha Elite, I mean... You're like one of the first athletes, right? Yeah, I was like the first athlete. So that that's no, like an interesting... You were the yeah. first athlete. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Alpha Elite... I mean, Christian, it was interesting because I actually didn't watch Christian like yeah. coming up. Like I, I mm-hmm. that wasn't like the person I was into. Um, but I did realize he was in Houston. So whenever Alpha Elite first opened, like they had this very they had this uh, location, mm-hmm. they had a grand opening. I decided to go there kind of like on a whim because Charlie had invited me. We were going to the same university. We hadn't met each other, but he had seen my stuff on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um so when Alpha Elite opened, I filmed, I was already doing YouTube a little bit. I filmed the video. My video ended up being like the most uh, viewed, like Alpha League grand opening video. Mm-hmm. And then um, 
what else happened? Oh, I was featured like in his actual YouTube video because I was squatting like 585. Gotcha. And everyone's wow. like, yeah, and it was like the most, it was like the most lit part of the edit. Yeah. Everyone's like, who the <laughs> fuck was that? Da, 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 da. So um, I got a little bit of traction from there, but I was only had like 5,000 followers. Damn. Damn. Were, yeah. you, were you doing YouTube at that time? Yeah, I was doing YouTube. Yeah. I just wasn't wasn't popping like that. But you were already like coming up in the powerlifting scene for sure, right? Or like, were you already established? Yeah, kind of, no, I wasn't established. I was I was still kind of like competing here and there. Um, and what really happened was that at this time, I saw like my wheels started turning. Like at this time, I'm surrounded by people that are mm-hmm. literally doing this shit for a living, yeah. and this is something that I wanted to do. And I'm just like, fuck, man! Like this guy opened up his own fucking gym. Like he does YouTube just like mm-hmm. me. Like damn, how does this shit happen? So I was yeah. literally, I was in college at the time and I would literally be at Alpha Elite for about five to seven hours easy a and, day. And there was no Alpha Eats then. It was just. Yeah, it was just, <laughs> I'm talking about like hot ass warehouse gym, <laughs> yeah, yeah. literally just, just there. Filming, Work, filming yeah. working out. And uh, he would see me every single day. Every single day I see him. He's like, damn, like you're still here. I'm like, yeah, man, I got to get it. Yeah. You know, so. I think he noticed the hard work mm-hmm. and I shit you not, I had 5k followers, bro. Like there's, there's like a shit ton of other people to reach out to. And he, he pulled me aside. He's like, what would you think about being, you know, our first athlete? And I was like, damn. Oh shit. Like, I mean, did that'd you, be great. Did, did, <laughs> were you thinking about that at all? Did you Hell think? no, no, nah. I wasn't at all. No, nah. it was never, it was never something that like popped in my mind. I was literally just in there working out because Alpha Land was, I mean, Alpha Elite was already like a, uh, was already a thing. And I'm like, if I keep working out in this gym, mm-hmm. like good things are gonna happen. Yeah. Like I'm gonna yeah. bump into somebody, yeah. someone's gonna notice me. I don't know. That's um, how it still is now. That's like yeah. Alpha Line. Like yeah. if you're just here, you move here, things pop off eventually. Cause you're yeah. just every day you're connecting, every day you meet new people. Yeah. And you hop in someone's video, boom. Yeah. And, and I think the most important thing with that, because I think we've all kind of like run, I mean, you guys are people that move mm-hmm. down here too. Yeah. So it's just like, bro, if you work hard, like if you genuinely work hard, things mm-hmm. are gonna play out in your role. So. 100%. So I have a question, and this is something that like we're kind of we we talk about this often. Yeah. Like when you that first few days or whatever that you're working out at Athlete Gym, like you were like, hey, this is cool because this guy has his own gym, he's got his own clothing line, all this. Mm-hmm. Thing. Looking back on that right now, you're you're in that position, right? You mm-hmm. have a, a very popular gym, you have a very popular apparel line. Like, I'm assuming like that was the top of the mountain when you were that when you back then, but now mm-hmm. you're here. So like, yeah. what are you looking up to right now? Um. Shit, I mean, they're still at the top. <laughs> they're still, they're still kind of at the. T- so it's like I, I look at everything as motivation. Like especially them. Um, not, not awfully specifically. I mean, like you for your brand and everything that you want to accomplish. Cause yeah, you, you've done those things now mm-hmm. yourself. So like, you, I'm assuming you don't feel like this is the place where you're, like you're good. Like there's other things that you want to. For sure, I think like you normalize a lot of the shit that you do. So like once you achieve something, so let's say like business wise, you want. You want to you want to make like a hundred k for a month, right? You're like, okay, I did that. So it's literally just like, it's like you. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like I didn't mean to say it like that. What I'm saying is like you normal like to to, every, to exactly to y'all. It's just like damn. Yeah. But like I promise y'all, I promise y'all, y'all gonna get to that point. You're gonna be like, okay, what's like, what's next? Like I, I shit you mm-hmm. not. Yeah. It's the same thing with, with with when I compete. Like I win, I win one title. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I win another title. Okay, it's like. It's always the next one. It's always like, what can I do yeah. better? What can I do? Like I literally, and I need to get better at this a little bit, but like whenever I'm I'm working with people or we have a task at hand, we'll complete that task and I don't even give a fuck that we completed it. It's just more so, okay. What's next? Yeah, yeah. what's next? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, and that's what we struggle with. Yeah, and it's, and it's kind of annoying sometimes because I feel as though I don't congratulate enough or like applaud. It's just move mm-hmm. on. For yourself, you mean? You don't For myself that. and then just like in work too. Like, I don't know if, <laughs> cause like Duhon might send something fire in and I'm like, cool. I'm like, good. Yeah, that, you yeah, know, like yeah, great. Yeah. But I don't like verbalize that all the time, and I don't do that self uh, do that for myself either. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's not natural because like the bar is always being like you're always raising yeah. the bar for yourself. So mm-hmm. like I'm sure you feel the same way. Like your edits and everything, I'm sure has come such a long way. It's kind of got to a point where like I'm with him every day. I just feel like we just have like the same like mindset and just like work at the like you're it's sure, funny because share a brain now. Yeah, no, literally because yeah. one time he was like, "Hey, bro, like I know like I don't say this enough, but like like this shit that like, you do, like, <laughs> like I'm proud of you, like like good shit." I was like. Oh, thanks. Like, I don't, you know, like, I don't really care. Like, yeah. I'm just, nothing happened either. I just yeah. sent him like, yeah, nothing happened. Like, like, it was just random. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, thanks, dude. Like, yeah. like to me, like, I'm thinking like the same way. I'm just like, on to the next. Like, yeah. how can yeah. I make that better? I'll rewatch my edits and I'm just like, okay, that part I can do better. Or like, you know what? Like, this shot would have been cool. Like, X, yeah. X, Y, and Z. Or like, you know what? From a storytelling perspective, like, I could, like, yeah. I could have, like, made this better to, like, have more impact. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, I'm not thinking about, like, 
I need I need like affirmation now. Yeah. yeah. Were you, now I'm just like let's let's just move forward. Yeah. Were, were you doing fitness content before Russ or was oh, yeah. he the first like fitness guy you did? No, I was doing hella fitness content yeah. before Russ. Yeah. That's er- you were pretty early on that then. Yeah. No, I mean so film and photo I've been doing since freshman year of high school. And I was always just training in the gym. I always mm-hmm. I was always like a gym rat. Um, but I started doing fitness content, I would say like junior year of high school mm-hmm. because I went to the gym. I brought my camera. I shot pictures. I shot yeah. videos of my friends. It started with my friends. Mm-hmm. And then um, if you're in Houston, you probably know about like Fitness Connection. Shout out to Fitness Connection. Uh, <laughs> Crazy lighting in there. No. But yeah. <laughs> so like every, it's so so it's like a commercial gym. So you go there and like having a camera in a commercial gym is just so wild. It's, it's weird. weird. So it's weird people would see me like just filming like my friends just filming shit. And then, you know, naturally you would pop up in like their Explorer page. And, you know, I got traction from like my um, people that people that went to my gym and then eventually just got clientele. And I was like, oh, like you want you want to like pay me for this? Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> the same way. I was yeah. like, it started off as just like, oh, like just pay for like my day pass or like mm-hmm. give me like 40 bucks or like just whatever. Just cover like, my gas. Or yeah, something. yeah, cover yeah. something. Right. You know, like I wasn't thinking like it. monetarily about yeah. shit. I was just doing it for fun. I think we have we have super similar stories, honestly. Yeah. And it's so cool to hear like even him, like you were driving an hour. Like remember the David Lade photo? I yeah. drove an hour to take that photo. Like yeah. that gym is an hour away from my house. Damn. And I, I used to go there every weekend just to be there and be present around those guys. Weren't you, didn't you like have to call off work one day because your homie hit you up and he's like, yo, these guys are in town. <gasps> no, I left work. You, you I was like, <laughs> I, I was like boots in mud. I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, fuck. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> so you left the construction site? Yeah, like, full blown. I was like, family emergency. I gotta go. They're like, oh yeah, go, 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 go. Hopped in my car, but I had to go to my house first because my gear was there. So I'm in my house. I'm like throwing my jeans off. I'm fucking dirty. I'm like, fuck. hopped just, in my whip. And then I went and I was but do you, I hope the people listening hear this common like nominator. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, it's a leap of faith. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. all this shit. Like, it's I literally, easy, yeah, I dropped out. <laughs> I, I don't encourage this, but I dropped out of college. Like, <laughs> I was literally yeah. in college going to Alphalete every single day for five, six hours, like, trying to just like get this YouTube stuff going. And then <laughs> I remember going into like one of my biology classes and then like I sat down. It's like, all right, you guys, take out your, your, uh, your scantrons for a test. Yeah. And I was like, like Oh, we got tested <laughs> and the girl was like yeah and i was like mm. i got i got up and i left and that was the day i, I dropped out of college that, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, you, you, you don't want to circle c for everything no nah, man yeah. i was like i was like man honestly like the fact that i didn't even know there was a fucking test today yeah. like lets me know how checked out i am what year was that and that was like a 20 well, like what were you a sophomore junior no, i was like a junior Oh shit! Yeah. So you were like, Damn. Yeah, I was there too. And I was in there. Yeah. I was in there for kinesiology too, which is exercise yeah. sports science. Yeah. yeah. What, yep. So where, where, were your, where were your? What was your social media presence like when you made that decision? Where you're like, I'm gonna go full time. Like, it wasn't anything crazy. It was like I think I had just signed with Alpha. I can't remember exactly, but it wasn't like it wasn't anything to where like you should have done. That. Yeah, you didn't have it. You didn't have. It yeah, I didn't have it like that because I remember when, like when I signed with Alpha. I think I was like 5k on Instagram, mm-hmm. and then, and then like once they announced me, I remember like my phone like blew up like i was on ig and yeah, the yeah. battery ran all the way down because i gained like i gained like 20k followers in like two seconds holy shit because that like that that was back when alpha lee was like yeah. i mean it's still like that but like <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah. it was it was it was like automatic because i was basically the face of alpha lee at yeah. that point besides mm-hmm. christian yeah so oh. it was just it was it was instant i don't know if you could say this but what was like christian's initial like deal for you like was it money was it just clothes no it was like, it was money it was money yeah. it was money with the commission code yeah he Jeez. honestly like going, looking back he looked out he looked out mm-hmm. for sure because like to i mean you work with them now like to take that risk on such a small <laughs> you know what i'm saying saw the potential yeah he saw that's that. and he he kept telling me he's like yeah. bro like i think he would always say this i think you're gonna be the next chris jones i think you'll be the next chris jones i don't Ooh. know i was like I was thinking, I was like, well, I want to, I want to be like yeah. me, but I just, <laughs> just but the fact that, just the fact that he saw and like wanted to take a risk. Cause like now that I'm kind of like in that position a little bit, I see like the business aspect to it. And the fact mm-hmm. that he rolled the dice on making like a, a key athlete, me, like yeah. with the following that I had, like it, I'm just like kind of thinking about it. And I'm like, God damn, like yeah. that's, kinda, that's pretty crazy. And yeah. you're, you're doing the same thing right now. Yeah. Right? Like you're, you're putting on for, for the people that are fucking with you too. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. I love that, bro. Yeah. How the uh, where the GBT name come from? It's something that I always used to say. It's it's like a long it's it's not a long story, but so the people 
if if you know me, like, and you follow me, like, I, I love anime. Like, I love Naruto. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was there was like this one quote from one of the characters. It's Rock Lee. Mm-hmm. It's if I could get one percent better each and every single day, then like something, something. Like I strive for perfection or something mm-hmm. like that. I was like, damn, that's dope. So in my <laughs> in my YouTube videos, I'll close the video out by saying, "Get better today." Like, get better today. Get better today. I'm like, I would write it on my board and all that, and it just kind of stuck. That's dope. Love yeah. that. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Rock Lee. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Rock Lee, he only uses Taijutsu, right? Like, yeah. He, oh yeah. shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Russ, like, damn. <laughs> Harry stopped in. <laughs> <laughs> I read that shit. I read the manga. That's crazy. That's so yeah. now you guys are both on uh, on prep, right? Yeah, different yeah. preps. Yeah, he's on piloting, and I'm on my first bodybuilding prep. How, dude? You want to ask a follow up question that because I I want to get into his. I was gonna say like how the fuck you balancing all this right <laughs> now? Um, I just do everything like in the morning. Yeah, like training. I just get training like out the way, like mm-hmm. ASAP. All I'm right now, like I'm waking up at like four thirty five. Go train. God damn. Because I'm on like an hour cardio. So like that's already at eight weeks. Yeah, because we want it's it's my first show. So we wanna the game plan is to like be ready early. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just to like experiment like for like show day. But yeah, yeah sixty minutes uh a day, uh every day. And I actually have to do cardio like right <laughs> after. Shit. Right after this. So yeah, I still got sixty minutes to do. What made you want to do a show? Um I don't want to say I got burnt out, but I just got kind of like uh, I want to say comfortable. Like I've yeah. done, I think like seven meets, yeah. and it's gotten to a point where like it's like second nature to me. Like yeah. I don't, like it's not like a challenge to me. Yeah. Politics yeah. me. That was, so I just <clears throat> I wanted to like finally like be uncomfortable again. Yeah, that was me. I wanted like a goal in yeah. the gym. Like wh- like why am I here every day? What am I working towards? Yeah, no, like like piloting. Like it was still like mm-hmm. a goal thing to me. Like it was still whatever. But like it was like okay, like I'm comfortable. Yeah. Like how can I get goal, uncomfortable yeah. and like yep. have something like fresh again mm-hmm. and like bodybuilding? Like what's up? Yeah. How much you hate it right now? Bro? Um, <laughs> like it's, it's cool. I it's only hate concepts. it whenever I'm doing cardio because it's so boring. It's not even hard. Like this really? isn't hard. Because I don't I feel like, cardio. I really don't. I'm throwing a YouTube video, just fucking. No, chill. no, no. That's what I'm saying. But like, there's just so much. Shit. I'm, I'm literally like, that's. Are my you doing life. stairmaster? Yeah, solely. Fuck that, man. Jeez, Damn. So like, it's just if I don't have my iPad or my phone, like I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done for. But you've already dropped some good weight, right? Oh, I've dropped like 25 plus pounds. Yeah. And how God damn. And uh, I started like in January. No, the cut officially started in February. So since February, I cut, I cut like 25 plus. I started at 197. And today I woke up at one seventy four point. I want to say like eight. God damn, bro! You do, you've done one, a show before. Yeah, I've done it. I did a show. Um, when I started going around, like being around like all the alpha league people, they were like doing shows and shit. So <laughs> I got kind of like I got kind of like influenced to do yeah. a bodybuilding show. So. Yeah. yeah. How long ago was that? Man, I was like. Five years ago, so you're telling him, so you know what he's going through. Yeah, for sure. I was like, you're gonna start experiencing sh- like you're gonna be cold for no fucking reason. Like, <laughs> yeah, like right now, you guys are hot. <laughs> I'm, I'm cold. Yeah, and then like you hey, might get to a point where your meat stop working too, bro. <laughs> 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 the meat is crazy. <laughs> nah, that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna be brutal, bro. What? Well, because how oh, long? Is, how long is like a true powerlifting prep? Because with this, you've done it since January. You still have two yeah. and a half, like two months. I'd say anywhere from like eight to twelve weeks. Eight to twelve weeks, really? yeah. Which Probably you know, yeah, eight weeks. Like eight weeks if you're like a vet. Like twelve weeks if you're like a beginner, like moderate. Yeah. You know, it's funny because like I feel like um, as a powerlifter, I understand how hard bodybuilding is. This shit is not fun, man. No. Like the cardio is so hard, but for powerlifting, it's literally just you get. For me personally, I get moody. Mm-hmm. Like whenever I'm on prep, I'm like. Probably like four weeks out. That's when I just like I'm not even enjoying the gym. Like I'm just pissed. You're, all the time. you're coming up on that. Like right, when this yeah. airs, you're gonna be like four. Four weeks. Four I'm gonna weeks. be like yeah, probably okay. So if this yeah, this I'll be like I'll be like getting close to being four weeks out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I'll be three weeks out whenever he competes, and I'm going to like film him. Yeah, we're going to Vegas. Vegas. So how many comps have you been with him for? Like, do you see this when it, when he starts getting moody and shit? You see? Oh, it for in? sure. You know, oh, like, hundred percent. No, for sure. <laughs> it's they'll, bad. They'll be like, I think this is like probably like one of his not not like in a bad way, but like his worst preps as far as like <laughs> shit that he has to deal with because like yeah, of uh, yeah. of like you're growing and everything. Yeah, growing and all that. It's mm-hmm. funny because I'll I'll he's you've been with me for like what three now or four since 2018. Okay. Yeah. Like people, people see the YouTube videos and it's like, <laughs> everything looks like nice and shit, but I'm telling you like, it's bad. Like I'll, I'll come in. I remember there used to be times I'd come in 
I wouldn't even say a word. I just walk in <sighs> and literally just and start he's like, training. Gotta start filming yeah, this shit. just starts. <laughs> I don't even. I don't say hi. I don't say anything. I just start training, and like I just kind of get to it, and then you know I'll talk after. And he's like, "You good?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah I'm good." Yeah. Do you feel like? Yeah. Do you feel like the gym is such a close knit community that like people know you're on prep and they're gonna leave you alone until you get your shit done type deal? I was gonna um, say, how is that incorrupted? Like, yeah, do you, and, like and you're on prep nights, you got to focus. And are people still coming up to you and? pictures and so like the people that are coming in from like out of town and visiting mm -hmm. i'll always like i snap out of it really fast like i like no matter what i'm doing no matter where i'm at like i'll always make time to talk to people that mm -hmm. like actually like if you fuck with me and you want to come up and talk to me like i'll talk to you like i'll talk you i I'll, i talk more than the people talking because <laughs> i want to i want to make sure like you felt as though i gave you the time of day because yeah. like you gave me the time of day yeah yeah but um i think the member <laughs> i'm a very i'm like kind of different when i train like I'm, I know I'm like kind of a, I talk a little bit while I'm inside of the gym. Like I think I give this aura of just like, I'm trying to work out. Like I'm mm -hmm. not really here to play around or like play any games. Like I'm here to train. Yeah. Cause to me, like it's not, it's not working out. It's training. Yeah. Um, I, I, I have a obligation to my sport. Mm -hmm. So when I'm inside of the gym, I don't play any games. Now, if I'm, if you see me like verbal and like I'm talking, I'm screaming, mm -hmm. then that means like I'm opening the arena to like converse with me. Yeah. But if I'm coming in and I'm just like locked in, like, I think people get a better, a uh, pretty good understanding. People like, know. Stuff. People know. Like if you're a avid member, like you know, like yeah. you, mm -hmm. you feel yeah. the vibes. And it's not on some like standoff shit. It's literally just I'm so laser focused. The only thing I care about is making sure that I'm in a mental mindset that allows me to lift the most way I could possibly. Yeah. And you could probably tell when like a day passer walks in. They, they flew in. They're yeah. Like, yeah. Like trying yeah. to come near you. You're like, what's up? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'll be pissed. But then like, if they come up to me and actually like have like the confidence to yeah. say what's up to me, then I'm like, okay, hey, man, what's up? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So what do you, on this prep, like, what do you, what do you got to prove? What's the motivation? You, you <clears throat> um, it's, it's the same shit. Like people just, I think it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, to me, I just look at it as like, maybe like a winner's fatigue. Like you're tired of seeing the same person win. So you're like rooting for someone mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Um, so you got like more haters now you think than before because you just uh, doing this? hundred percent, hundred percent. It's just like seeing LeBron win over and over and nah, over. Yeah. <laughs> what? I mean that I honestly, you're not, it's, it's such a cliche. You're not popping until you got haters. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I feel like as you guys start building more and more, you're going to yeah. start having people talking shit like, man, his pictures ain't even all that. Da, da, da. <laughs> like <laughs> man, Harry, not even that nice, bro. Oh, like I feel like, this, I feel like powerlifting might be the only sport where you can't say shit like that because oh, it's not, nah, you it's, can't like you're lifting shit. Shit. Yeah. Nah, you, you know can't. What I'm saying? Like, what? You can't fake that. Nah, you can fake a lot of shit online. Powerlifting, you can't really fake. And that. you got stats. Like the yeah. stats are, speak for themselves. You would think that. By a lot, you right? would think that. You would think that. But it's not really like that. I mean, and I think another motivator for myself too is just like, okay, like what I did previously was cool, but at the same time, like I want to do more. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's there's a. I think that goes into with like the uh, type of attitude I have when I train because there's a lot of um, uh, there's a lot of riding on kind of these meets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like something I'm doing for fun. Like mm -hmm. there's business tied to it. There's, mm -hmm. um, there's bragging rights. And there's just like, even the standards I hold for myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How do you deal with the whole, uh, now you're not bullshit that you, that you get <laughs> I feel like when I first started, like when I first started posting YouTube videos, like back in like 2016 or 2017, <clears throat> That used to be like a huge thing yeah. that bothered well, it's me. It's justifiable. Like yeah. You're fucking picking up shit. <laughs> yeah. Most people can't do. So that, that actually you though? Hell, like when I first started, I'm like, why do these people think I'm lying? Like, I'm not a liar. Like, I'm telling them the truth. Yeah. So I'm just like, what the fuck, man? Like, I'd be like, I'd be like trying to like refute everything that everyone yeah. says. Oh my God. And then after, after a while, I started realizing like a lot of people that are in the like, fitness industry or people that look up to people in the fitness industry, like mm -hmm. their, their idea of what's physically possible in a natural realm is a lot different from mine because I come yeah. from a football background. Like yeah. I see fucking shredded dudes like all the time, yeah. like people yeah. putting up stupid amount of weight without doing any type of work. Like yeah. people say I'm genetically gifted. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know. I work extremely mm -hmm. hard and I know some football players that look like me and fucking eat McDonald's and, and bullshit <laughs> yeah, all fucking week. Yeah, Batman Mo, dude. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Batman oh, Mo. Oh you don't eat, bro. He does not yeah. eat. Yeah, like, like Mo is what I think I look like inside. Like, <laughs> like he's what I think I look like to other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But not a bad thing. Nah, yeah. yeah it's fucking, crazy. For, for those of you guys listening, Mo, Mo is, Mo is like a Mo. solid 6'1 and Mo. just fucking huge. That man was looking with a broken arm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? He broke yeah. his he broke his arm working out on bench, <laughs> and then this motherfucker comes back to the gym with the cast and Still continues to work out. out. Still. Yeah. We, 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 bro, 
Does he do, does, has he done powerlifting stuff in the past? Uh, no, no, just bodybuilding. Yeah. Just bodybuilding. Yeah. I, I, show, he's show before. I think he's on one show. I would love to see his stage shots. Yeah. It was like way back then. Though. It's yeah. like two, three years ago. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Before uh, the pandemic. Yeah. Shout out Batman Mo. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> what's next for GBT? That's what I want to know. What, what, what do you guys, what's the plan? What's the five year plan? It's, <laughs> it's, bro, everyone's like, bro, I don't even know what's next year. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm doing next week. Yeah. I think, I think as you like get into business, you learn that everything is always just like a constant finesse. Mm-hmm. It's just like, yeah. okay, we have to pivot here. We have to pivot there. But mm-hmm. the biggest thing for me is just like expanding the brand. I, we're bringing like a lot of people on board now. Mm-hmm. Um, like athletes or employees or both? Both. Yeah. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. we have like, I don't know if I say this on the podcast, but we have, we have this kid, <laughs> we have this kid coming. Like we're literally... My thing is like, I, one of my goals is to get less uncomfortable with like bringing people on board. Mm -hmm. Cause to me, like when you bring people on board, it's just like, that's another person that you're like quote unquote responsible for. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's just more so just like, nah, this is a team effort. Like I need this person and this person like not needs me, but like wants to be here. I I didn't think about it like that. So, so you think instead of you thinking you're giving an athlete the chance to perform, you're thinking that now that's a responsibility of yours to make sure that they do do well? No, for employees. Oh, employees. Yeah, yeah, for employees. So, like, let's say, <clears throat> okay, so, like, we have this dude that wants to come down for the summer. Like, literally come down for the summer and, like, work with the brand. Like, that's what he wants to do. And I'm just like, I mean, now I've gotten out of that, that mindset. I'm just like, oh, fuck yeah. Like, come down, bro. Like, I'm super excited. Mm-hmm. Before, if you if he had asked me, like, maybe, I want to say, maybe a year and a half ago, maybe for last year, I would have been like, I don't know. I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, you know, I would try to figure out different ways to kind of get out of that. Yeah. And, and you, that's self-sabotaging. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Especially just, if he has something to offer. Exactly. Like, help. Yeah. Exactly. So I'd be, I'd be like just hesitant just because like I, I would fear like letting that person down or like maybe something doesn't have work out and you know, this down the third. So I've kind of like got over that mindset. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, bro, fuck yeah. Come down. Yeah. So what are you looking for, for GBT athletes? Like what someone that's trying to get sponsored by you guys, like what, yeah. what do you look for? People always ask this question. It's not a, um, it's not like a linear mm-hmm. answer. Yeah. Um, I might see something in somebody where I'm just like, like that motherfucker yeah. right there has some type. It's of almost like you got to spend time with them to just yeah. get to know them as a person, and then yeah, because there's you can't ask that. Yeah. So it's like it, it's like a loaded question. So I might look at somebody and I'm like, okay, this person doesn't have a following, but man, he has charisma. Yeah. Like I think we could utilize that. So okay, maybe. It's not so much being an athlete, but maybe we could mm-hmm. give you product to create give content. Them a, give them a platform. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you a platform. We can now use that for something else. Or um, maybe you look good. You just you're a good looking person. Mm-hmm. We're gonna util- we're gonna utilize you for different shoots. Um, have you here and there. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like understanding, like okay, let's look at this person. Let's look what they can add to the team, and then bring them in. Mm-hmm. Um, it may not always be in the athlete or ambassador role. It mm-hmm. might just be something else. Yeah. No, that's good. What about uh, Weez? How'd you guys discover Weez? Weez is <clears throat> Weez is coached by my coach, and mm. there's just something like I could just tell he works hard. He fits in with you guys. Yeah, man. he's so weird. yeah he's fucking he's he's a uh, he's a he's a social media kind of like a wizard when it comes to powerlifting. Like he's yeah. just a funny person. Yeah. Um, and then he works hard. So uh, I just kind of asked Joey, but I'm like, yo, who's this? You know, who's this kid? Because he reminds me of kind of like how like he's very different, mm-hmm. very yeah. Uh, you know, kind of, yeah, unique. unique. And the name, like, yeah. yeah. And he has the strength to back it up too. So I'm just like, okay, cool. Like this guy, this guy may be the next kind of like face of powerlifting if mm-hmm. he plays his cards right. So let me, oh, let me yeah. kind of get in his corner and like help mm-hmm. him out here and there. Yeah. And then he was like one of the first people I thought about for becoming like a GBT. Yeah. Athlete. That's yeah. so dope. I remember the first time I shot him, he was wearing a GBT shirt. <laughs> That's dope. Man. I was like, what is that? Like we were talking. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Now, yeah. now we're friends and now I, he's out here lifting with you guys and I'm yeah. shooting. It was Full circle. It's crazy. Right. I'll talk to you about that on camera too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you did you think that when you started, you like do you think you'd ever be in this position you are right now? Like did you have that confidence right when, when everything started getting yeah. you started piloting seriously, you started GPT, were you like, No, I know I'll be here one day? Yeah. And um yeah, for me, that's just how I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think I think you sell yourself short if you think any type of way. Um mm-hmm. for me, like even when I first started piloting, the first, I didn't even do my first meet. I literally looked at the who's the best in my weight class. Uh-huh. I was like, all right, okay, that's the bar. Okay, put in the work, put in the work, and then hopefully one day you'll be able to like maybe even share a platform. But like the goal is to be become the best. Yeah. In my opinion, that's just how I approach things. So even with the brand, it's just like okay, um, we're here. 
Mm-hmm. I see other brands that I aspire to be like, what kind of work do I need to do in order to get to mm-hmm. that point? So it's just literally just making a contract with yourself and figuring out what do you need to do in order to get to whatever you want to go. Oh yeah. Who, who are you looking up to in terms of like business? I mean, we got a, we got a full yeah. circle full of them. I mean, shit, oh, yeah, we got, yeah. yeah. The biggest one for me is uh, like Shali cause he's in mm-hmm. my friend group. Um, obviously Christian Max. I mean, there's just so many different people mm-hmm. like to just kind of look at, like I, I admire from afar, mm-hmm. even a uh, Remington with a uh, Anabar. Like I'm just looking at, I'm just like, fuck man, like fucking killing it. Yeah. Do you, for, do you like love, do you love Houston? Do you want to stay here for the, yeah. you, you don't want to go anywhere else? No, no hell sure. no. It's, yeah. it's nowhere. Yeah. yeah it's nowhere yeah. else. I love it here. I really it's like, home. It's like my work home. Like, like, yeah. I, I work here and then I travel and then I come back yeah, to my like home. Be yeah. based yeah. out of here and just like travel, yeah. but like Houston, like it's where, just, where are you from? Uh, Venezuela. Oh shit! Did you come to Houston Venezuela. first? No, so um, <laughs> He's Venezuela. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was there from 2006, and then I lived in Miami for like two years, and then in 2008 I moved to Texas, and then I didn't get to Houston until 2019, whenever I moved out and everything officially, like from Baytown to like here. Got you, got you. Yeah, I feel like Houston wow. is a good combination of like it has has like a decent amount of stuff to do, but it's also cheap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and, and there's, also like not, there's also like not too much to do. Like I don't know how much time you spent in Miami, but to me, Miami's got so much going oh, on. Oh, for sure, like, you can't. Too lock many in. distractions. You can't lock in in Miami. No. no, you can't. Miami's a fun city, and also to you, but you remember, Rich, you got some bread when you go out there. Man, <laughs> shit is expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. I was out. I was out there two week two weeks ago. Fucking just Damn. money every corner, just <laughs> fucking throwing that shit out. <laughs> Were you just there to kick it? Like, no, I mean, I took my girlfriend out on her birthday oh, weekend, but it's just fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It's so easy to next, next birthday. Yeah, it's so fucking easy to spend money out there, man. Yeah. God damn. Were yeah. you shooting in Miami when you lived there? No, I was a kid. Doesn't doesn't eight. I was like oh, shit. nine, eight. And then you didn't have a kid back then? No, I didn't nah. <laughs> I, was, I think I was like in third grade before I moved. And then I moved to Beaumont. And then from Beaumont I moved to Port Arthur. And from Port Arthur I moved to uh to Baytown and then that's where I stayed. God damn. I started shooting in Baytown. That's where I started okay. shooting. So what advice do you have for creators that look up to you and they want to come do this? They want to come to Houston. They want to shoot. They want to do YouTube or they want to become someone's Duhon. What's your uh, advice for them? I mean, honestly, like I, it's funny cause I just started bringing on like this one kid from the gym. Uh, yeah, his, I saw name's, that. his name's Anthony. Yeah. And I literally just, I, so it's funny cause I told him, I was like, damn, like we need to like build like a, mm-hmm. a media team or like some sort like, I was already yeah. thinking on that, but I, I guess like I started have it's like I started having the same issue that he did whenever he started mm-hmm. he like hired me. I'm starting to think I'm like damn. I like, told you. It's I just it's you. just so like you. that's a responsibility. Yeah, because you know, you're like, bringing yeah. someone on. Hand it off. Like some he has like that's his vision what he's doing. Yeah. Like, so like yeah, bringing him on, I was just like I see I saw myself in him because mm-hmm. he was he was the same doing the same thing I was doing yeah. driving an hour mm-hmm. to uh, train there and I was just. Bro, like, uh, since we opened, I, we would just see him, like, there all day. Just yeah, just all day. Day. Literally just from 1 p.m. up until, like, closing, just yeah. there all day. Training. Just filming random people. And filming. He yeah. would film his own stuff. He would, like, take pictures here and yeah. there. And eventually, like, I noticed, and I noticed a lot to where, like, I was, like, I talked to him, and then I was just, like, I see myself in you, like, mm-hmm. like how would you feel about, like, you know, doing stuff for me? Yeah. Bro, how come? And, how important is it like environment bro like that's what we say all yeah. the time it's like you gotta be there if you want it's to do this, so important it's so i feel there. like i wouldn't be thinking the way that I, i'm thinking like right now as far as like mindset if i wasn't like in the corner that i'm in you yeah. know being like with russell like with the cs fam like Enoch, and like everyone like yeah. you see it mm-hmm. so like you're almost like not forced but you're like like it's just natural to like yeah. think and like do that yeah yeah and you also know they kind of had similar journeys like they all moved here they all started somewhere and now they're where they are. Yeah. It's so all like, like the same factor. We're doing this. Like that's the blueprint that I'm pretty much in right now. Like I moved here. They all I'm like, we something. all just took that leap of faith yeah. and then we all just worked for it. And mm-hmm. like, we're all just in the same, in the same, like, you know, monetary yeah. position. And it's yeah. pretty cool that he, he, he like, he's going out of his way to like shadow you. Cause that, that's, I tell everybody that's the best way to learn. Like do it, mm-hmm. like yeah. go out with your fucking camera and shoot. Like that's you know, how I'm, you're going to get I'm sure you get this like all the time. Yeah. Like DMS of like people like, bro, like, I'll fly down there, like yeah. to just like I'll, I'll work for you. Let me yeah. let me fly. And I'm just like to me, like that's just kind of like weird because I'm like ah, like, don't do that. Like, <laughs> do it on your own. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. like yeah. don't 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 wait for my permission. Yeah, like, yeah, if you yeah. want to do, do it, like yeah. do it, yeah. and then like you know people will see yeah. that. Yeah. Like how pull, I saw that. In that yeah. If you pull up on me and you're like, yo, I'm from Michigan. Like I flew here. Like I was trying to meet you. That's different. If you're yeah. like blowing my DM up, this kid sent me a paragraph like this long. Yeah. He's like, bro, I'll quit my job. 
I will fucking move there. I'll sleep on your floor. I'm like, what are you supposed to say to that? Like, <laughs> like that's just so weird. Like, it's kind of like, like how you did it. Like you just like hit us up. You're like, hey, like I'm in town. Like you guys like, mm-hmm. cool if I just come in and shoot pics, they're like, dude, oh, yeah, that's shit. how I met him. I, I DM them. I was like, hey man, like I'm coming out, out for you. Like it's I, funny. I, I told to Russell, you, I was like, hey, um, this guy Joe, or whatever, he's gonna come and like just take pictures. Like, you <laughs> nah, he did. That? I'm not gonna lie, he did say it like that. And then he's like, he did say it like that. Cool with that, because like I'm like I I've kind of like became like his middleman with like just yeah, other yeah. people like hitting me up to like get to him. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, hey, like you cool with that? He's like, who's that? And I was like, I don't know, man, some guy. <laughs> like I mean, yeah, shit, sure, bro. Until you earn it, you're that guy. No. And he pulled up, and I was like, oh shit, what up? He's like, hey, what up, man? Yeah, I'm just gonna take pictures. Is that cool? I'm like, yeah, shit, whatever. Yeah. Just, you know, it's working out. I feel like that was like the first time someone shot photos of you, and you were like, "Whoa, this is kind of cool." No, yeah, like, that, not, yeah, I'm sure people have shot you, but like, I like went out of my way no. to get shots of you specifically. And I no, was like, that was just, no. that was your first time, I think. You shooting me made me realize, like, damn, I need to mm-hmm. get more content of myself. And, the, and then you started yeah. using the photos for like your preset. I was like, damn, I was like, yes, Fuck. I was like, I did some, I did something. Like, no, I that was you kind of like gave me a whole new perspective of like just not like just photo creating like i need to yeah. also like show my face yeah. and like show like Bro, what i bring. that's me and you right now like i feel like we're at a place now where like yeah our work speaks for itself but like now we're just promoting ourselves as people mm-hmm. and people yeah. are picking up on that and that's why they don't look up to us really well obviously they do for our work but like just like i want to be like them as now as it's like person. we have yeah. personality like mm-hmm. to back that exactly. up exactly like and before that. like i was just like it was just my work like just my yeah. work like oh like do hunt like i would just be like Known as like the run that, mm-hmm. like run that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like now, like there's like a phase because like I'm starting to like you mm-hmm. know show my face more, like take more pictures of myself, and like you shooting pictures of me like that. That's what yeah. like what did that for me. And see, I did that on my own. Like you don't have to tell me to yeah. do that, and that's what I tell people. Like don't sit around waiting for like an opportunity, or you got to create the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Show up at at corrupted. Don't even say anything. Just take the photos of you guys like off guard, and then send it, send it and then yeah. 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 Just hope for the best. And What's cool is that, like, even back then, I could tell you're hungry. I think when you left, I was like, mm-hmm. yo, that guy's like, no, like, I was, like, I was, he was like, solid. I was like, he's solid. Like, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, like, he's cool. Like, he's not weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Was, that, that was my That was the main thing. It was just like, because at first it was kind of like, it's like, you know, like, yeah, this guy wants to come and shoot. I'm yeah. just like, let me see. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. he shot so and so. I mean, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I wasn't even on some just, were we open at that time? Yeah, we were. We were, yeah, okay. yeah, we were open. We yeah. had just open. It was like yeah. everything was brand new. Yeah, because I was like, I was like, man, like I don't, I don't really know this guy. Like it's mm-hmm. gonna be kind of weird or whatever. Because we don't um, usually do that. But that's the yeah. thing. Like you saw like David Lade, you saw whatever. Yeah. And that's, I was like, this is a good. This is a like, good Had respect for me. Yeah. yeah. So that's the point. That's what I tell people. Like you got to build a portfolio. You mm-hmm. like, you got to go shoot. You got to take photos. You got to do stuff for free. Like you, you're doing yeah. everything for free. Yeah. And that's because I built that portfolio. That's why you guys gave me that respect. You, mm-hmm. yeah. you're like, all right, let's go. Let's give him a chance. But even just meeting you, I was like, this guy works hard. Like, mm-hmm. I like just the fact that this, he just just wanted to pull up yeah. and just take pictures. And you're like, oh, I forgot. I asked you something. You give me a funny ass answer. I was like, Russ, what are you doing? I'm just fucking it. Just you know, just fucking chilling and yeah. taking pictures or whatever. I'm just just like fuck it. I was like, so you just got up and you're like, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I was like. Oh, okay, like yeah. I like yeah. I I know that energy because it reminds me of like kind of like what what I did and then yeah. what Duhan did mm-hmm. too. And usually things work out for people that are willing to get on that ledge and take. I was Ubering before. around, bro, literally Ubering. Yeah, like the whole time I was there because I was with that kid Dre. Yeah, and, and he yeah. he works like he worked a job, so I was just like in his apartment. I'm like, fuck, what are we gonna do today? Like, <laughs> I just hop, hopped in Ubers. I was going to Alfley, going to Corrupted, going around, and yeah, that's that's why I'm here now. Is because yeah. I was fucking grinding my ass off, just doing what I can and making rest creating history. opportunities. Yeah, yeah, literally. That's the type of shit you got to do, though. Like, literally, just yeah. you, you, you come across people that will literally make every fucking excuse in the book, yeah. and then shit on you when you decided to take that leap of faith. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, whoa, I got to do this. I got to do this. Da, da, da. It's like, bro, I had to do yeah. the same shit. I just made a decision. Yeah. What yeah. made you invest in a camera? Like, because you were doing all your stuff yourself. Yeah. Right. Um, what was your first camera, by the way? You remember? A Nikon. Nikon. Oh, yeah. Hey, you shot a Nikon. <laughs> That's my first camera too. Yeah, me yeah. too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think I, I think I got it for Christmas. Like yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, I just wanted to take. So at first, I was filming stuff off my phone. Like I was. Yeah. This was back when Instagram had like 15 second videos. Yeah. So what I would do is, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was it was crazy, but I used to I would uh I would be at commercial gyms, yeah. and I I would ask complete strangers. I'm like, hey. Can you film the set for me? Mm-hmm. No, can you actually film it from <laughs> this, like right here? And I'll look at it. I'll, I'll get you back next set, like, because I need to fill, like, I need to fix this. Mm-hmm. And I literally, 
edit my own little workout videos and post on Instagram, like yeah. with music and everything. Yeah. And like, I was like kind of like one of the few people, if not one of the only people doing that. Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, I want higher quality now. So I have to move yeah. up to the camera. So that's kind of how all that stuff. You happened. did the voiceovers, right? I remember yeah. watching old videos. Yeah. 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 What was, yeah. What was the goal <clears> when you started doing that? Like, what was the goal when you first started filming your own shit? Like, was it monet was it monetary? Were you like, I can turn this into a business? Or were you just like, yo, I'm having fun with this. I want people to see what I'm made of type deal. Honestly, when I think back to when I first started, that shit was fun for me. Mm-hmm. Like to film like a full mm-hmm. workout, go home, edit it, and like yeah. repeat and do all that kind of stuff. It was fun. I think the biggest thing was to it was almost like a doc I was like documenting okay. like what mm-hmm. I was doing because I knew I wanted to start powerlifting and get into the fitness industry. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what that looked like, mm-hmm. but I was like, if anything, I'm gonna document it. So that's yeah. that's kind of like the biggest thing, and that's kind of like why I started the YouTube channel as well, just to kind of document yeah. that. So stuff. you have a portfolio of your whole career. Yeah, like that, that's why yeah. YouTube is so cool. Yeah, yeah. and it's like one way to make me cry is it like to, <laughs> I like I'll go back and watch old videos. <laughs> really, <laughs> I dead ass. Yeah, like if you show me like an old video of myself and like, like do I made something recently? I think maybe you I'm cried. Trying. Uh, I was feeling it a little bit. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't cry. Like like a montage of like yeah. clips. Yeah, just like if you go back and like watch old videos. Yeah, I just, you just start getting emotional. Like once you guys get kind of like more yeah. and more. No, we did it the other day. We were, we were like sitting down just watching uh, like the first day when I came here. Like, yeah, it feels like so long ago. And yeah. Like, holy shit. But you, changed. but what happens is that you start thinking about the emotions mm-hmm. and like the, like the, the, the thoughts and ideas that you had back then. And you're just yeah. like, fuck man, I'm like, I'm actually doing yeah, it. Like, spoken into existence. Yeah. Literally. Like, yeah. That's actually a question that I wanted to ask you guys is like, when were you having the most fun with it? Because I know the more into the <laughs> business you get, the harder it gets, the more pressure there is, the more stress yeah. there is. So like, when were you having the most fun? Because I, I feel like you're going to say like, where we are right now, motherfuckers sleeping on the floor, yeah. on, a, on a futon, like traveling, doing the shit. I feel like that's the part that we're going to look back and be like, man, that was actually a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <sighs> man, it's tough because I, I don't know. There's, there's, there's fun moments in the grind. But at the same time too, the way I like the way I like to look at it is like okay when you first start you're not gonna have shit mm-hmm. but you're gonna be having a shit ton of fun because everything is new to you so mm-hmm. every new experience you're like oh fuck that was amazing mm-hmm. like maybe you run into someone that you always looked up to it's like oh fuck that was amazing that was dope or maybe you made like twenty bucks doing something that you never thought you'd even make money doing that's super cool mm-hmm. so then you have the growth period which is like fucking stressful like it's just fucking annoying it takes it zaps all the fun from yeah. what you originally loved doing. Then you get to the like success part. Now the success part, depending on what you got going on, it can be fun, but it could also be stressful too, because I mean, just like more money, more problems, you know, whatever. Um, But I think it just really depends on the individual. You have to make sure that you're solid as a human being first, because you can be invited to more money, Mm -hmm. but at the same time too, like what does that invitation come with? Like, is it more headaches? Is it more um, responsibility? And that just stresses you out. Um, But for me, I think I'm a person that just likes conceptualizing things and I I'm just like a dog that likes chasing shit. So for me, like the early days, like when I wasn't too sure where shit was going, but I just had fun on that journey. Mm-hmm. I think that's kind of like, I would say at the moment I enjoyed those elements. I just didn't know what the fuck was going on. I didn't know any better and everything was just a new experience at all times. Yeah. 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 Cool. I love that. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like it was stressful when I first got here. Like when I was there, I remember I was all stressed out. I was just, I was like, fuck, I got to fly home. I got to go back to work. Yeah. And like looking back, like those days were special. But mm-hmm. like I really appreciate like where I'm at now, and now that I have this the group around me and all that, like the come up is fun. Yeah, but you don't realize it at the time because you're so like I can't explain it. Like I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm just trying to take every opportunity. I'm not even like really enjoying the moment. Now I'm like actually enjoying what I'm doing, and I'm really yeah. like soaking it all in. So it takes time. I feel like yeah. once you finish up, you'll be able to look back and exactly. you're like, now Oh shit, I was having fun like, back then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking Ubering to Alpha. Just, just to lift. Start, like everything just yeah. to lift. hitting you so fast. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you move down here and everything's just like yeah. you don't have time to like just process. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. like the most fun for me was like the day that I, I quit my job. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Oh no, like I got you. Like, <laughs> like once I saw it, like I got you. From then on, like that, from that, like that year, that yeah. first year of like me, like doing that, yeah. I didn't know what the fuck, like, no. this was gonna look like. I didn't know if, like, he was gonna, like, cut me out, like, a month later, or, like, whatever, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's like, that's fun, so, bro. like, yeah. he told me that, but, like, in the back of my head, I'm like, all this money, like, I can't, like, spend yeah. anything. You I gotta, believe I in yourself, though, bro. You, you knew you had No, I did, I did, I did, but I just, you know, it was just very unexpected to, like, what mm-hmm. uh, would have happened. And this, I, 2019 run ass, that's where I was like, 
oh, like this is this is this yeah. is it. Yeah. Like we finna do something special. Mm -hmm. Like that's whenever like people like started coming up to me like appreciating me <laughs> mm -hmm. for like the work, and then that's whenever I was like, oh fuck, like I'm doing something. I was gonna say <laughs> when was the first time like someone asked you for a photo like when was that and you were like holy shit like, yeah 2019 ron ass yeah that's whenever like that shit was crazy people like knew him and mm -hmm. they were like yeah. coming <laughs> up to me like after yeah mm -hmm. and then like i thought the first person was like fuck with me uh <laughs> <laughs> the uh the first person that came up to me he came up and he's like hey man like i love your work like you know like like everything that you do like it's so yeah. dope like i'm so glad like he brought you on like can i get a picture i was yeah. just like like you want a picture with me? <laughs> he was yeah. like, "Yeah, man." Like, and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, dude." Like my shit. Like I just yeah, like yeah, us. I, 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 no, 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 dead ass. No, because like no, because so it's, speaking to that story. Okay, so 2019 around Nashville, like you're 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 in, we're in this big ass hotel, and it's literally just all powerlifters. So like you're literally in there with like mm -hmm. everyone that watches mm -hmm. like our content. Um, so I mean like people are going to come up to me and then people start going up to Duhan. They're like, yo, man, run that shit. Ah, yeah. Duhan, like, run that shit, bro. bro. And Duhan's like, ha ha. So this guy, like, this guy's like, yo, man, like, I think he talked to me and then he came up to Duhan was like, yo, man, like, I fuck with shit, da, 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 da. like, can I get a picture? And Duhan's kind of like, I was like, bro, he wants a picture. Like, you want, I'll take it. I got it. Yeah. So he was just kind of like shook about it. He was shook about yeah. it the whole weekend. Like, he's just, you I know. was very like, Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Right? Well, it's, I hit you up. Like, I, like I didn't Russell. I hit you up. Mm -hmm, like, yeah. It was like I was trying to connect with you. Obviously, I wanted to meet Russ too. But like, yeah, I really wanted to connect with you and just pick your brain and just like be around you. And it was fucking. Yeah. No, nah, man. That that's probably like one of like the best things. Like, just like as a creator, like mm -hmm. just to, like have one where people like just love and just respect yeah. like what you do. Because I mean, it does take like a lot of time, bro. Because. There's I say so this all the time, bro. I'm just being me. This is what I do. Mm -hmm. I used to do this for fun. This was never worked to me, art. Bro. It's just like never a way of like just express. I'm just expressing my like myself like through yeah. like videography. Bro, That's my, all it my is. My boys writing chest like, yo, big chest day. I'm like, all right, bet I'm gonna bring my camera. Like, mm -hmm. we'll make some sick video. Like that was just for fun. Like, yeah, it was never work. No one ever told me to do it. It was just me wanting to do it. And I feel like you can relate to that. Where yeah, I never thought of it as like free work. I literally just thought mm -hmm. of it as like. It, it was i didn't think of it like as a job i just thought of it as a hobby mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like for the longest time like from sophomore year up until like senior year like it was just a yeah. hobby to me like just doing it for free just going in like enjoying myself yeah just genuinely like enjoying it i would literally like after work just go home edit mm -hmm. all night yeah. i worked nights too which like sucked but that's like how i knew like that was my passion yeah because i was just tired yeah. devastated you know like long nights whatever but like still like the thing i was looking forward to was like Filming yep. and the gym too, like making time yeah. for it, bro. Yeah. I used to bring my laptop to work, bro. <clears throat> yeah, like, in the work truck. body. Yeah, fortify was gross, bro. <laughs> that was just, yeah, that was but sick. I would even sick. some days I'd bring my laptop because I I you can't do sick I can't do video on my phone. <laughs> bro, I bring my laptop. I'm fucking. I got my work pants on. And, <laughs> I'm like dusting it nah, off. When, you, when, you, when I heard that story, I was like, "You sick fuck, <laughs> bro." Almost pretty much every day I was in the porta potty. bro. But see, man, like I feel like when you hear stories like that, like all that. I work this and that. Yeah. It's like, bro, if you love something, bro, if you, you want to do something, you make, you make it, it fucking work, bro. Yeah. You make no excuses. I, no I, I could have just been like, ah, I'll do it when I get home, or I'll try to addiction. stay up late. I was like, no, fuck it, I'm gonna do it now. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, a little, bit, a little bit. I mean, a, a lot of it is passion, but the, like, it's not that much more work to just pick up that camera and start filming your shit. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. And like, there's so many talented people out there that just they don't think about just putting it out there. I think. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. it, Everyone could benefit from that advice, like no matter what you're doing. Yeah. If you're passionate about it, just film it. Or they think their life isn't there. isn't important enough to film. I guarantee you, yeah. it's not important enough to document. Didn't think that that what they were doing was people would fuck with it. Yeah, but they obviously do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like that's so important. Just put anything. Yeah, out bro, there just start. do it, bro. My friends used to get like dirty likes. I'm like, I made this page in 2017. I made LT mm. Virgin Media. I got 30 likes, 40 likes. Yeah, when I first time I got 100 <laughs> likes. I was like, holy fuck, this is <laughs> fucking sick. Man. Just bro, I used to post YouTube videos and like all my mom's friends would watch and only be like 10, yeah. 10 views, yeah. 10 views on YouTube video. I used to be hyped. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, fucking 10 people saw my shit. Damn, yeah. we out here. Yeah. So that's it, bro. Yeah, no, passion for sure just overcomes like just self doubt. Yeah, hundred like, percent. I was, I mean, I was like vlogging just for myself, like in high mm -hmm. school, just you know, practicing, just having fun in the gym. No, like at high school, just life like in like, high school, just dang, life. High school, That's dope, like bro. I got over that. <laughs> I got over like that self doubt of like my life is important. I was like, yeah. fuck that. Like I'm gonna make it like fun with like my yeah. edit and shit. Yeah, bro. I always get annoyed when people ask for advice like how to get started. I'm like, just, I, I fucking it, hate that. I, I hate that it. question. 
what's it, what, what do you tell them when like if someone actually like hey Russ like how do you start I don't answer you, you know what's funny not, whatever just, yeah just say, I, I literally say I, I tell them like that's I don't give advice for shit like that really like yeah hell no because it's just like you're disres- to me you're just disrespecting like what you want to do mm-hmm. you don't want to yeah. do it because yeah. if you wanted to do it you just do it. I could give advice as to like what you're doing on your journey, but you haven't even started. Yeah. You haven't started the journey, yeah. yet, bro. You're asking me how do I get started. It's yeah, like you don't yeah. like it enough. I'm sure y'all no, all yeah. the time get like, what kind of camera should I get to start? It's like, dude, your phone. Just yeah, can do yeah. something, bro. Yeah, questions like that. It it just I don't know. Why it makes me so mad. I think it's just because I never thought it about does, like. Bro. He's pissed right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> because I I never once thought like, well, how do I start? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just fucking start. Yeah. Like, I just yeah, fucking learn. start, dude. Start. So the biggest thing for me is like just start and then you're going to bump your head and you're going to learn how mm-hmm. to, you know, do yeah. things. It's like, yeah. even with business too, you start a business, you fuck up and then you're like, okay, yeah. like I, I'm going to correct this and make it better next time. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. So, yeah. I learned, I, that's what I learned the most was like fucking up on shoots and yeah. shit. Like mm-hmm. you make those mistakes and then you literally never do it again. Cause yeah. you learn and, and that sticks with you. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Fuck. No, that's good. Uh, especially getting out there and doing like your first shoes, bro. I was so awkward. <laughs> so nervous. Like, that was, I, if anything, like being a server saved my life. Just like learning to be like social and everything. Yeah, yeah, and, like yeah. shoots. I was talking to like, strangers and stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. whenever like I was doing like my first shoots in junior high, like that, like family. I was going to say, like, what, what was your first like few shoots? What did you, what'd you like, start? I did, I did family portraits. I did graduation shoots. Yeah, like yeah. this and that of like people from like other people in, like in my school district that I never met. Mm-hmm. So like those shoes were like nerve wracking, yeah. Because I was just not the social person, you, bro. You're like practicing in high too school. At that time. I was not a nobody, but like yeah. I was just to myself. Like mm-hmm. I had like a you know close knit like friend group. Like I didn't really, yeah, yeah. I wasn't really like branch out. I was yeah. in the soccer team. Like that's all I knew. Just like my soccer people, <laughs> like, just like that's whatever. Different. Um. So whenever I would like do just like shoes for like strangers like that, she was so nerve wracking. Yeah. But over time, like I've always like liked discomfort. Mm-hmm. So I just, whenever I feel that, like I just push to yep. that more, and overall, it just became easier with experience. Yeah, well, that's why you're here, bro. I, I in the same way, like, I, use, I like to put myself in like positions that make me uncomfortable, like trying new things and all that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's why I'm in this position now, is because I, I seek discomfort. Like I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go to Iron Revolution. I'm just gonna hang out for two hours and hope that like someone walks in. No, quitting yeah. your job was and like to them. you yeah. were uncomfortable <laughs> when you quit your job. Like you're like, bro, like I don't have a nah, I was set. Out. Like, I was out, bro. I was you out. know, I was like, fuck this. I was like so uncomfortable. I was like, bro, like I don't, I don't get like my biweekly check. Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then more money started coming in. That's that's the, the, yeah. that's the part that's tough. Is like you have to actively leave something where you're you know it's guaranteed, right? Like mm-hmm. your job before your job before going to school, you know what's at the end of that road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know yeah. there's a job, there's a paycheck, but you know where that's leading and you're supposed to jump off that road into yeah. something where you can't even see 10 feet in front of you. Yeah, yeah. That's you're building. Easy. Yeah, that's not easy, but you got to believe that you can fucking make it no matter yeah. what you the, see in front of you. You're yeah. going to figure out It was out the safety net. That. Like I had to get away from that safety net, like that yeah. paycheck every Friday. Yeah. I was like, fuck <clears> this. I'm going to go earn my own fucking money. Like fuck the paycheck. Like I'm going to go out and make my own money and not work for someone else. And, and, yeah. and, and that's what I was seeking and it was... I had to get out of there. It also makes you figure out what type of person you are too. Cause I mean, people listen to the, this, this shit is not for everybody. So like, no, I don't want, not. yeah, no. I don't want you to be sitting there thinking, well, fuck, like, you know, I'm working yeah, my nine to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck this shit. I'm yeah. going to go try to do this. It's like, it's like, nah, bro, hold on, hold on. It's like really try yeah. to have that self-awareness to evaluate like, yeah. okay, am I built to just kind of like mm-hmm. put my back against the wall and, and let everything bad on me? Mm-hmm. Or like, bro, there's nothing wrong with having a comfortable job. No, at nothing. All. nothing. It's just like it's not for everybody, and and sometimes if it's not for you, just go ahead and make yeah. that leap of faith if you're questioning it. Yeah, yeah th- that's why I love so much about this this area specifically, and, and and like y'all is, I know that we all have that similar mindset, so that's mm-hmm. why yeah. I feel like everyone gets along so well. Yeah, yeah. We all have similar stories mm-hmm. of where we came from and, and what we're doing. So like, we, I mean, we say all the time like we feel like we know each other for a lot longer, and like I feel like I've known you guys for a lot longer. But yeah, this, yeah. this is yeah. obviously the longest we've ever talked. But like, yeah. I'm already hearing similarities for for all this, and that's why yeah. that's why everyone here fucks with each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, in, yeah, yeah. And I, all I was gonna just say like it's insane because like when you're, like in this group like for the people listening, I shit you not, you literally turn your, you turn and it's like, oh, I'm, I'm from Iowa or some shit. It's like, oh, what the yeah, fuck? No, yeah, I just came down here to try to make it happen. It's like, what That's the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like you, I shit you not, you just like, when you're, and you're in this little group, you just see mm-hmm. like fucking people just coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. It's like, yo, where this person from? I'm from Wisconsin. Like yeah, I just came yeah. down to make it work. Like literally I had like maybe a couple people message me. It's like, yo, I'm, I'm moving from so-and-so to be in corrupted or some type of shit or mm-hmm. outland or whatever. Like hopefully crowds. Uh, not knowing what's going to happen, but like they're just moving to, yeah. you know, yeah. see what, what happens. We met, I met a kid the other day. He moved from Philly 
to Houston to, to train at Corrupted. And he's like, I just wanted to be down here because the vibes look good. I was, yeah. like, I was like, I was like, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, damn, man, fuck. So, I mean, no, it's right. crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. I bet he, and see things, I bet a year from now, he's going to be living his best life, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right? Think about, thing. That, think about yeah. the fact that the vibes of the gym made some motherfucker leave across yeah. the country to move here. Like, it's crazy because that, that's the thing. Like, if you could just be around good people, mm-hmm. like, it just puts that good energy into your life. And if you're just at a place where you just fucking hate it, I mean, it's yeah. gonna affect how your daily, uh, daily go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so. my thing, bro. I was around guys that were just like settled. They were good. Like, yeah. this is my job. This yeah. is my one income. Hey, what's going on? How you been? Oh, same shit, different day. Like, yeah. I fucking hate that when people yeah, say that. Yeah, like, no, yeah. bro. Clearly. New week, new shit. Like, I'm traveling, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Mm-hmm. And when I got out here and I'm surrounded by all these like minded, ambitious people, like, yeah. it was just instilled in me. Like, I, I haven't been lazy since I got here. Like, it's just nonstop. Yeah. I'm always trying to work. Yeah. I'm always trying to grow. Your, your boys would let you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, you know we'd all be right there. Yeah. That's yeah. The and I see y'all, everyone doing their mm-hmm. shit. I'm like, man, I gotta do more. Gotta work harder. Yeah. yeah. I gotta do more. It's fucking insane how Houston is the new LA. Oh, 100%. 100%. It's like, not, it's, it's not fucking better, insane. Like, yeah, it's, its, yeah. Own, it's starting a new trend. Like, it's a new... I look at Houston literally as like a hub. Yeah. And like, I come here, like, I fucking work. I go out and I hang out with friends. I... I People come to us, like people mm-hmm. fly here. Yeah. And then from here we go travel, we do whatever. Yeah. And then we come back to our hub and we get back to work and mm-hmm. grind. Yeah. That's actually really good. And it's fucking awesome. Like, how have you seen it change from you were literally the first athlete athlete to where yeah. now? Like what have you seen about the community, the culture? Right. Like what's changed? Like, it's it's fucking night and day. Cause when I first started doing fitness content, you the cool thing was to pack all your shit and move to LA mm-hmm. and like go yeah. become a fitness content creator out there mm-hmm. because that's where everyone was at. Like everyone yeah. lived in LA. Who was that? Who was out there at that time? I mean, you have like you had like Barbara Brigade. Um, you had Simeon Panda. I think he was like going was from yeah, you going from like the UK to um, to uh, LA. Mm-hmm. You had like like micro Sh- like you had like all the big ass names in fitness yeah. like living in LA. Like mm-hmm. Matt Ogus, like yeah, all of them. Yeah, track people. They'll always be like in LA, and LA would be like the spot to go to. And I'm, I can't remember exactly what happened, but I told myself, I, I told like everyone, I was like, Houston finna be the new fitness spot, bro. Like I could just tell. Um, yeah. yeah, and I said that like about three years ago, because like mm-hmm. I think someone started slowly moving down here. I was like, yeah, Houston's about to be the spot because yeah. number one, it's cheap to live here. Yeah. <laughs> number two, LA, oh yeah. God, bro. number two, we're like we have gyms like just coming gyms up. We have like yeah, we have a good mm-hmm. gym culture out here. I was like, I don't even know why a fitness influencer would want to live in like LA. It's so yeah. fucking expensive. That's the thing. It became like I feel like this is now like found destination. Like I hope one day I could be a fitness influencer living in Houston, going to Alpha yeah. and going to Corrupted. Like this exactly, become like, like the. I shit you not, like people literally, it's like now it's shifted from LA, now it's Houston. Now mm-hmm. I gotta get to Houston. So whenever people yeah. come here, I'm like, hey man, you better hurry up nah, because these no, prices seriously. going up, bro. So you for, better. For real. And yeah. also like the value of the individual is so much, like the longer you wait, mm-hmm. bro, by the time you get here yeah. a year and a half from now, motherfucker, like. It's like, bro, yeah, come here and make a name. Playing catch up. Yeah. I'm saying you're playing catch up. Like you. Yeah. Shit, six months. How long have you been, how long have y'all been down here? Not even a year, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Not, like, so not even eight changed. months. Bro. Yeah. So much August, 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 I got you. Yeah, yeah. y'all still building, but it's like, bro, y'all have been here for like yeah. not even a year and shit's just flying like that. So and we, we made a name for ourselves in, in that amount of time. Like, yeah. It's almost like, get here now. Like, fucking hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. I'm telling you right now, because shit, yeah. shit, yeah, that shit, it's hot right now. So yeah. you better hurry up. No, hell yeah. And also on that note, like, there's never, for, especially for creators, there's mm. never, because there's never a shortage of people who are trying to make it. So there's never a shortage of people who need mm-hmm. people creating yeah. their content. So, yeah. Like, don't think that it's saturated. I mean, we're saying get the fuck over here, but but like you know that if you if you came here and you were good at your shit and mm-hmm. you're on your grind, like you're gonna find someone. That's There's always someone. There's always There's someone that always needs something. Someone. It's not yeah. saturated yeah. at no all. Matter no what. way. It's not saturated. Nah. No way. Dude, it can't be saturated because there's different personalities. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Individual. Everyone's an individual. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's someone like a uh, germ, Jeremy Foster. I don't know if you guys know him. Anyway, he's like a young guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a young guy. Right? Okay, so okay. Like, I was like racking my brain. I'm like, fuck, shit. man. Like, I don't know who that shout is. Out to I was like, Shout guys. out to Jeremy, man. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> shit. He uh, he hopped in a video, like one of Shusha's videos, uh-huh. and, and now he has 40k. He's like, people come here to see him now. Like, it's fucking crazy how he's fast. I, know, I think I actually know that is. He hopped in the, the okay, future. okay. What? You, you know, what video? Sush, Sush. Oh, Sush yeah. video, Sush video. Yeah. And dude, he's got like 40K, he's got like 10K on YouTube now. Like he's popping dope. off now. People are coming here like, oh, I want to meet Germ. Like, he's yeah. And that happens so fast just because he's here. Yeah. He moved here and, and like, and that happened in two months, like maybe. <laughs> Jesus. And he's 18, 18, 19, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, that's how shit could go, man. Just, I mean, like when you surround yourself with people. Being present. Yeah. Just be here. Yeah. Just uh, be exactly. genuine too. Just, just be genuine because we can, 
it's we can sniff. Oh yeah, don't face. don't be on that weird. Don't be on that like oh like you know just because that's the know, quickest way to get you like kind of pushed out. Yeah, yeah. Listed, like bro, yeah. you pretend to be somebody else or you put on like a face and people yeah. find out, people know. Bro, like that's, that's, that's yeah, that's yeah. And don't force content. Oh like, yeah, don't right force away. content. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ah, please, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just don't like. Now that I'm like I'm like really good friends with Sushi now, like that's that's my boy. It's so like discouraging when these kids come up and they're like. Like yo, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, bro, say what's up first. Let's talk. Like before you even have a genuine conversation, yeah. Just and then, yeah. like, phone in your and face. then we could like start. You know, it's so crazy. Like even like James and Shoes have been down here for like what a year and a half now or yeah, something like that. Yeah, I've still never. I think I ran into James like in Miami when yeah. like we're at this the Naka thing, but. Other than that, I haven't seen them like in person. Right. Yeah. And I haven't like, like seen you guys, like you've seen us a bunch. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I'm not gonna and I know they're popping, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, these are, I'm gonna try to get in their way yeah, da, 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 this, yeah. this, and the third. It's like, yo, if we run into each other, we run into each other. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's just like keeping it genuine. There's like people that will like it's like they're just trying to force it so yeah. hard. And it just kind of turns you off. Cause mm-hmm. you're just like, I, yeah, I don't even really know you like that. Yeah. Like, it's kind of weird to just like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So you have to you have to kind of like ease your way mm-hmm. in and Present yourself as yourself. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. then, yep. you know, you'll have a better shot yeah. instead of just like, oh, we should fucking create some content together. And, like, and that's <laughs> the thing too. Like, if you aren't yourself, or let, let, let's say you, I'm trying to say, if, if you aren't being yourself and you guys get along for a video, like, how long is that going to last? You know, what I'm exactly. Like, what's yeah. better is you be yourself. Yeah. Maybe you don't get, maybe you don't get along with Russ. Yeah. But you find your crew, you find your group, exactly. And then you, you're so much happier creating yeah. content, and living your life. That's more natural to you. Yeah. Exactly. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Hundred percent, bro. What time are we at, Mighty? One, tw- one twelve. One twelve. One twelve. That flew. Damn, yeah, bro. That fly. God, damn. That was great. Holy Humble shit. beginnings. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Rise and grind. Be here. This is uh, setting is standards. This, how many? How many podcasts have you been on? Uh, this is my second one. Second one. Second oh one. yeah, yeah. We gotta do the live. First one. What? I said, is this one better than the okay. first one? <laughs> the first one I did with my coach, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my pilot was coach, Joey. That was my first one. I <laughs> might do a third one uh, next week. Oh, dope. Which is funny well, how that worked out. Do you have any um, any personal personal goals outside of GBT, outside of... Personal goals, thing? just yeah. uh, launch my merch and then, you know, Hell have yeah. that build up um, to where I'm able to launch a clothing brand that I want to launch. Uh, and then a media company and uh studios that is like one of like that's like the end goal for well no the end goal for me is like direct a movie like be part of a movie but like as far as like monetary like just like something i can like leave it's just like build like a hub of just like studios i like that Mm -hmm. like just different locations with like different vibes love that when uh when you want to drop your merch uh hopefully by the end of this year early uh Early fall, you late should delete, summer. Delete, hopefully. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. I was gonna say. No, make, make, you may yeah. have. Yeah, yeah. So early fall, late summer. Yeah. Around that time, I'm oh, yeah. I'm going through designs right now. So just trying to get the the fit. What kind of yeah. what kind of like what kind of style are you gonna go for? Uh, just grungy, like a grungy, just uh, uh, run that vibe. <laughs> you know, run that vibe run that vibe just very grungy uh start to merge first just that way i can just like you know build a little bit uh mm-hmm. to uh do the clothing brand right after like that yeah. you guys yeah. have similar styles right like that that vintage look like that yeah you guys both like that i feel like that's why we work so well mm-hmm. great together because mm-hmm. like it's just like we have the same vibe. similar styles yeah yeah oh yeah bro very yeah. same vibe. all right we gotta go live on the oh, this is a new thing we, we, we do and we go live and we uh we had someone in and they get to ask you a question. Oh, shit. oh okay, that's lit. Yeah, pretty but cool. If it, if it, yeah, they're gonna fucking talk yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's I'm good with talking shit with people. I'll be like, man, fuck you too. Like, <laughs> you recording it? <laughs> you, you got the screen recording, right? Mighty's got it. Uh, have you ever guys like invited someone and they're like, we, hey. d- we did the first one. Yeah, Sue so goes, who's the most one. handsome at the table to Heidi? We're like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Don't say that. We, uh-huh. had, we had Heidi on a couple days ago and, and Sue asked. Who the most handsome at the table was Jesus, <laughs> that's insane, yeah. man. I wasn't. Yo, yo, yo. Someone's gonna ask, like, how do you get started? Watch this. We got 14, it's building up. 14, bro. 15. Let's go. 14. Hey, hey, hey. get someone to request to join. Someone said balls. That's <laughs> crazy. How do I see if people are trying to get in? Um, maybe is it only if you're following them? Nah, it should be no. like it should be like a button do on you like bring it <clears throat> Oh, someone Someone's join. Right. Someone send in, send in a send in a vote, or do I send it to them? Tina, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> we 
can take an audience question and just hang the word. What about Alex Topham? Um, have you guys met, you guys met Alex before, right? Yeah, I met Alex. I'm, I've met Alex. Um, I was at a Christian surprise party. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo. Yeah. All right, someone join. That's just crazy. Chick fil A or Popeyes <laughs> chick, chick fil A or Popeyes chicken sandwich. That's crazy. Chick fil A. Chick fil A is like really. Yeah. Over Popeyes. All right. Yeah. It, it was cool for like that too. It was cool for like that <laughs> little oh, that rush. Was wild. Yeah. That was Yo. at the same time. Homie's creeping right now. Yeah. What's yeah. happening, what up, bro? Yo, put it to the <laughs> put it to the mic. Put it to the mic. All right. What's good, bro? All right. How you guys doing? I'm doing good, bro. We're uh, we're live. What's up? What's up? All right. What question do you have for Russ and Duhon as a collective? Put it to the mic. Put it okay. to the mic. I wrote it down. Oh, oh shit. Homie, I don't remember. Damn. <laughs> this was not, this was not, was not scripted, bro. This was not scripted, I swear. No, I literally wrote it down. I was like, give me a second, please. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, hurry up. <laughs> was this like pre recorded? Like, was this like pre planned or some shit? This guy wrote it down. This guy wrote that shit down. Is this like a poem? Oh, right, you got it? <laughs> Man, it's manifested. Um, shit. So my advice would be, or like, I kind of am looking for advice. Like, okay, I'm 19. I'm trying to make it out to Alpha Land and kind of just do it big. What advice would you guys have on kind of like making connections and kind of just getting yourself out there? Like, I know for me, like I'm at my commercial gym. I'm literally asking every single person like, hey, you want to shoot? Hey, you want to do this, this, and this? But uh, I guess, yeah, a question for you guys would just be like, how do you make those connections and like get into Alpha Land? Because you're like... <laughs> Like, I'm saving up money and just doing stuff like that, and I want to do it big. So, yeah, just what kind of advice would you guys have? That would be the question. Do we answer this live? Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i going to keep it frank with you. Bro. Just bring your ass here. Like, I would just say, um, pull up. Simple as that. Like, there's there's not like a, there's not like an invite to Outland. It's not like a, what are you like trying to make connections you like? What are you trying to make connections like for? Like, what do you do? Or do you just lift? Or like photography and videography, basically. Oh, got you. Pull so, up. so I feel like from pull like up. my perspective and like my experience, it's just a matter of like, just ask people around that area and just like at Alpha and just pull up. Like even if you have nothing for that that day, just pull up and like go up to people like in person. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, like, do you mind if I grab some pics, shoot whatever? Content, yeah. Just shoot the content. If you get people like that hit you back, that's even better because now you have like a set like you know spot to like take for that day. Yeah. But even if you have nothing, just pull up and like just shoot content, especially at Corrupted or Alpha Land. Like, you know, we're always just open for people. It's just, it's everywhere. People are just shooting for fun. And yeah. then once you, once people see that, like, okay, like this guy's like genuine, like this guy's like dope, <clears throat> whatever, you build that connection and just, you build that friendship. Building friendships is more important than building connections. Facts. Facts. So I would just start there. Just, you know, just I be would, yourself. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I'm if, if I was a photographer or a videographer, I would literally just, fucking pull up like for me just fuck all that how do i get here just come here yeah, like simple as that and then what i did brother pull up to alpha land shoot some random people be like Set yo I, I took these pictures you know they're fly as shit send it to them and if they post you they tag you cool but like build your portfolio and when you start running into these bigger people be like yo is it cool if i take your picture don't try to be like don't try to be on some like yo like you know I want to, I want to be in your, your circle, just like show them that you work hard, show them that you produce good content. And then literally from there, it'll, it'll, it'll happen for you, but you can't, you can't like force it in a way that's going to turn people off. But at the same time too, be aggressive with it and just pull up. Like, don't try to figure out how to come here. Just come here. Oh yeah, bro. Damn. Yeah. That was, damn. That's that's crazy. Crazy. Damn. Oh, <laughs> you bet. Hey, you better be here yeah. next week. <laughs> it be fucking. For real, right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate you. Good question. I thought everybody hang See up. Later, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up. Nah, I mean, that was really the question. That was yeah. the question yeah. that we Good were shit. just talking about. Bro. Yeah, yeah, literally. Literally. Yeah. Well, That's a whole but, podcast right but there. But do you yeah. see but do you see people's mindsets? Yeah. Like it's like, yo, how do I come to Alpha Land? How do I get in the circle? <laughs> well, just what fucking buy a flight and then yeah. come down and bro, just make it work. Like make it happen. Yeah. Don't wait for your invite or like that's not coming. Yeah. Like no yeah, one's gonna yeah. reach out to you, like, yo, pull up and come shoot me. Like, no, just show up. And say what you do, like oh, I do this, I do this, and like I'd love to let offer work, you my services for free. Show. Like, yeah, let yeah. Work show. Let there's there's so many stuff. people that have just like pulled up on me and like just took pictures, and they end up yeah. being good pictures. And sometimes I use them. I'm like, yo, this shit was good, and I'll tag the photographer and everything. And people just yeah. be like, yo, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there's this other kid that that came in. Do you remember that one dude that was working? That ended up working for Ghost. 
Yeah. 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 He took yeah, a. Yeah. He took some. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say he took some back shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got through the whole pod. Hey, hey yo! yo. <laughs> now nah, he took Pause. some. He took some dope pictures of me from the back. Pause. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, there's no way to say this. He took some great back pictures yeah, of me. Yeah. 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 And uh, I posted them. And then, like, I think off of that, he got he started working with Ghost a little bit or something like that's that. Just, that's all it takes, bro. That's yeah. all it fucking takes. Yeah. So just fucking pull up, and he he just asked, "Yo, can I come take pictures?" I'm like, "Yeah, man." Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's funny because I never stops like me just like shooting stuff for like just fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like even now, like I remember when I first started with you, like I was still like just like I even hit Charlie at one point, like just mid workout, like, oh like can I shoot like a video for you? Yeah. And he was like, Oh yeah, dude, like whatever. And I just shot it. Yeah. Bro, so oh, yeah. Almost, like, oh yeah, point. sure. Uh, you, you can do it. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> you know, uh, oh no, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> So like that voice. just never stops. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what we are. Okay, fuck. That's, that's good. I mean, I'm I'm about to be done, but yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh man, shout out to Sean. Oh, shout out to Sean. <laughs> oh nah, fuck. Nah, for real. I do, I do also want to thank you guys. Yeah, this was great. Pod good, great for, pod for a for a coming on the pod, but also I mean, just being genuine, guys. Like, yeah. Always, yeah. always welcoming us to the gym. Yeah, like, yeah. You, don't, you guys don't have to do that, but every time we pull up, you guys show love, and we really appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it just, sure. it just goes to show like y'all's character, y'all are cool as fuck. So, you know, you guys are not going on some weirdo mm-hmm. shit. Like, yeah. and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> also, too, like, awesome. yeah, also, too, I wanted to give you guys your flowers while you're working. Like, yeah. I feel like right now you guys are like in the growing phases. Mm-hmm. Like, you're, you're going to be experiencing new experiences. Mm-hmm. So, it's just like, try your best to just kind of yeah. take things in here and there. Yeah. Um, obviously, just keep working hard, but you guys are doing y'all's fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it, like, for the people listening, I literally watched y'all come down here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And build your own shit. And it's like literally coming to fruition. So, I mean, I would say stay consistent. I'm probably like preaching to the choir. You guys are already doing it, but yeah. stay consistent, enjoy the moment, yeah. have fun, and then just keep being good, genuine mm-hmm. people because good, genuine people will always win. It may seem like doing the fuck shit will get you ahead, but mm-hmm. honestly, just stay true to yourself. Make sure that you're you're exuding good character and good things will always happen to you. Hell yeah. We're ending yeah. on that note. That was, yeah, that was, that was great. Yeah. That was good. Believe yourself, you guys. Too. Yeah, I believe yeah. for sure. <clears throat> yeah, man. Any parting words? Just believe in yourself, man. Honestly, like just do what you do. Trust in <clears throat> trust in yourself and just consistency. That's the biggest thing. Consistency mm-hmm. and hard work. Like yeah. it's it sounds cliche, like very just you know. But that's really it. That's really, <laughs> that's really that's it. literally it. Yeah. Like I've lost sleep on this shit. I still lose sleep because I love this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So hell yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's a great podcast. Thank you guys. Yeah. This was episode episode seven. 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 Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate y'all. Get it to the end. For real. Drop a, a battery. Emoji, yeah, I drop bro. some batteries. <laughs> <laughs> guys, all right. See y'all in the next episode. Peace. Adios. All right. Sorry to interrupt the podcast, but we have an announcement. We're doing a One, GBT $100. giveaway. $100. Nah, we'll do about like $5,000. $5,000 oh, to GBT. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, shit. All right. No, no. no. We'll do. We'll do. Five minutes straight. Damn. That Thank you, lot, guys. Yeah, that's all good. That's, that's love, crazy. baby. Yeah. That's, that's love damn. from gang. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All so right. what, do, what do they got to do to enter? All right. They got to follow, follow these guys. Yeah, you got to be following all of us. Follow Legacy Loading on Instagram and uh, drop a battery emoji in the comments as many times as you want. Yeah. Because it's going to be random, randomly selected. And the more times you comment, the better chances you got. So drop a comment. $500 GBT gift card. And we appreciate these guys. And yeah. back to the episode. That's it.